Hey guys, Hilton here again with Yellow Sky Actions. And I had a photographer send me an image um, yesterday, and I'm going to do a video tutorial using her image. Um, her name is Stephanie Kozik. Thank you so much, Stephanie. If you're listening out there, we really appreciate you sending this over. Um, she actually wanted us to recreate the 1950s glam effect on her image. And so here's the image she sent. It's a boudoir photo. And it's beautiful. Um, so basically, the 1950s glam um, effect we are going to show you. Here's the before that you're looking at right now. And then here's what we're going to end up with the after. So warm tones, you got that glow. It's definitely that 1950s glam. And uh, I'm going to show you how we did it. So again, here's the before, and then here's the after. Bam! All right. We're going to start with, oh, and by the way, we're using our um, big, bu big bundle set for CS3 through CS5 to edit this image. So here we go. We're going to start on the essential set, and we're going to click on It's Time to Shine. Takes a few minutes to load. And again, guys, uh, whoever, if you guys are watching this and you guys have already seen this 1950s glam, you're going to know it's going to take a uh, this This video tutorial is going to be pretty long because we're going through every uh, step in detail. Um, so bear with us, guys. All right, so it's time to shine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into this action and we are going to drop the shine sharp down to 50%. And I forgot to add, this photo was taken with, um, Stephanie used her Rebel uh, T2i and the shutter speed's on 150th and the aperture is at 3.5 and crazy enough the ISO is at 3200 um, you know you guys probably can't see because you're watching this through a video and you don't see every detail but the as for the ISO being at 3200 this is fantastic uh, and this is just your standard you know amateur level uh, Canon so uh, great camera wow I'm, I'm very impressed so just to let you guys know that. Um, so we're running, it's, we've just run it, it's time to shine. Um, the next step we're going to run is, um, is an action in the color set called Vintage Instant Photo. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this action down to 75%. And then we're going to go inside this action. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to go to this pink posy layer, click on that, and change the blending mode to overlay. The next step, we're going to go and we're going to click on Peach Dreams. And we're going to make sure it's dropped down to around 40%, 45%. And we're going to, we're going to change the blending mode on the Peach Dreams layer to color burn. Maybe even less, maybe even 40%. Or 38. That's perfect right there. Okay. So once we're uh, we finished with that, the next step we're going to run an action within the smoke and effects called Daydreamer. Day um it's called Daydreamer, yes it is. Okay. So um click on Daydreamer. Takes a few seconds to load.
and there you have it. It's getting there, guys. It's getting that. It's getting that glam '50s look that we're going for. Um, okay, so the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to run an action within the essential set called Soft Brush. <clears throat> all right now I've gone over this you know so many times I know all you guys out there watching these video that seen my video tutorials whenever an action is um, has a black mask make sure that the there's a white foreground so you need it to be the white foreground to paint the action on um, so basically a brush always has a black mask so white foreground is selected the brush and we're gonna drop this brush opacity down to 10 percent alright we're just gonna paint this on We're going to paint it over the whole photo except her face. We want her face to really be in focus. And this soft brush, it gives it, it gives that hair, her hair a soft kind of glow that we're going for as well. All right, once we've done that, the next step we are going to do is um, we're going to run Dodge It, Burn It. We're going to click on the Burn It layer first. Member, black mask, white foreground. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to see these dark air, the dark areas in her hair. The, that those tones in there and then you got the whites what we're gonna do with the burner we're gonna darken the dark areas and then with the dodger we're gonna whiten the light areas to give it that contrast and we're just gonna do it just a tad just a tiny bit remember guys a little bit goes a long way so um, yeah just a tad alright now we're gonna go to the dodge it Perfect. Once we've done that, we're going to drop each of these layers down to 50% because it is a little too much, and I just like it to be subtle. I'm a, I'm a subtle guy. All right. So once we've done that, the next step is to run an action called Crack Boom Pow which is in the smoke and effect set. And what we're going to do with this action is we're going to invert it um, and just make it into a brush action. And I'm going to show you how we do it. And it should take a few minutes to load. Again, guys, sorry it's taken um, forever to load. My computer, I've been on it for the past eight hours now, just editing uh, and batching photos. And I'm using a, a 24 inch iMac. I love it, by the way, but I've definitely, uh, I'm just waiting for this guy just to crash on me because I spend all day, every day on this computer. And it's a, it's a monster, it's a machine. But, um, yeah, that's why it's, it's being so slow. So, typically, these actions run so smooth, and they're quick. All right. That's not what we're going for. 
So bear with me. We're going to invert this, this action, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, you can either go to uh, Image Adjustments Invert, or if you're on a Mac, Command I. So we've inverted it. Now what we're going to do is, remember, on a brush, whenever you invert something, the mask turns black. You're going to click on that black mask. You're going to make sure that the foreground's white. You got your brush selected. And all we're going to do is we're going to bump the opacity 25%, and we're just going to paint on these um, red petals just to make them more vibrant. And I'm going to, I'm going to go through quick because I don't want you guys to be waiting. I don't want this video to be too, too long. So, But I just want you to get where I'm going with this. So really make these reds more vibrant. And again, it's subtle, it's not too much, but it's enough to really make a difference to the, um, to the subconscious when you have your, your, uh, you know, your viewers uh, go to your blog or your clients view their images, the finished product. It's going to make a huge impact. All right, the next step, we're going to flatten this, and we're going to run the, the last step, we are going to run an action called Complexion Perfection. Um, if you don't know what the Complexion Perfection is, um, it's, a, um, it's a brush, and it's, it, it gets rid of all of the, um, the wrinkles, the imperfections, it smooths out skin. It's a miracle worker uh, in in uh, in Photoshop. Um, it's one of our actions, and it is awesome. So the reason why I flattened everything, and I've told you guys this before, for the for the new guys um, and gals watching this, um, complexion perfection is a lone ranger. You have to run this action by itself. Uh, never run it with other actions. Um, it's so complex, um, and it runs much more smooth, smoother without any other actions. Um, so run it anytime you're going to run it. Flatten the other actions you've worked on and run this by itself. Okay, we're going to run it, and it takes usually three to five minutes to load, so bear with me, guys. And if you guys are watching this, just fast forward it to when the action is, uh, is finished up so you don't have to sit through through all this. Because um, this really puts on a lot, it probably will put on an, an extra seven minutes this video. Almost finished. All right. Okay, and all we're going to do is complexion perfection. Remember, it's a brush, so it's got the black mask. You got to select the white foreground. And we're going to brush at 100% brush opacity. And we're just going to brush it over the skin, all the skin, and that's it. 
So here we go. I mean, immediately you can see a huge difference. I can see a huge difference. On the video, it's, it's probably a little bit harder to see because it's on a video and it's, it's a lot smaller, but it's fantastic. It really is a miracle worker. And it gets rid of all the grain. Like this shot was a 3200, the ISO. So it's going to be a little grainy. Uh, any camera is going to be a little grainy um, when it's shot at 32. So this gets rid of all that and really smooths out all of the uh, imperfections and wrinkles and uh, and whatnot. So, and if you go back to the before, there she had she had blemishes here. I mean, they're gone totally, out of the picture. I'm gonna smooth the skin down here. And there you have it, guys. That's that glam look. So, Stephanie, if you're watching this, hopefully you are, this is your image. And it looks fantastic, doesn't it? So, uh, I'm so happy you sent this over to us, um, Stephanie. You're the bomb for doing that. Um, everyone else out there, um, if you guys have any questions, post comments. And, uh, again, here's the, um, here's the before. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me... Um, Let me, right there. Okay, there's the before, and there's the after. Again, the before, and look at these blemishes here. And it's kind of dull. It's still a great photo, but then bam, the after. So, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let us know if you have any questions. You guys have a great day.